In 1988, Andy M. Stewart, Phil Cunningham, John Cunningham, Martin Haddon and Gordon Jones revisited their enthusiastic following in Atlanta. The crowd realised that what they were seeing and hearing was the band's finest hour. Silly Wizard in concert. So my lads, I needs must leave you. My intentions no to grieve you, nor indeed would I deceive you. Oh, say when a while I must find some way to gain her, to court her and retain her. I fear my heart's in danger from the Queen of all our guile. And if you could have seen her there, boys, if you had just been there, the swan was in her movement and the morning in her smile. All the roses in the garden, they bow and ask her pardon, for not one could match the beauty of the Queen of all our guile. And if you could have seen the bear, boys, if you had just been there, the swan was in her movement and the modern in her smile. All the roses in the garden, they bow and ask her pardon, for not one could match the beauty of the Queen of all our guile. We're going to go on with a set of tunes because, uh, apart from singing songs, that's the only other thing we do. <laughs> apart, actually, apart from dancing. Dancing. Yeah. Later on in the night, if things go really well, since it's a kind of visual kind of evening, Phil may do uh, a Scottish erotic dance <laughs> uh, for you. Yeah, there's, there's actually, there's only one. Uh, it's called the, the Dance of the Seven uh, Army Blankets. We'll see how the evening goes. <laughs> we'll start off this with um, a set uh, with a, a pipe march called Inspector Donald Campbell, and that's a, a march that's normally played on the pipes about an inspector called Donald Campbell. <laughs> and then there's uh, a tune called The Orphan, that's about a kid with no parents. <laughs> uh, then there's a tune called uh, The Kestrel which is uh, about a, a new kind of motorbike which has just come to Scotland. <laughs> and then a tune called Come Up Alang. And Come Up Alang is uh, it's Scottish dialect, or Shetland dialect for uh, come on down. We can have the prices right, you know. Come Up Alang. Okay, places everybody. Places. Good luck everyone. Yep.
I'd like to sing you a song now that uh, was written by myself and, uh, and Phil last time we were up in the Isle of Skye together. And it's a song called Lover's Heart. It's about a, it's about a young man who's uh, been, just been called up to the army, if you like. He's been called away to fight in a foreign war somewhere. And, uh, well, he's really not enthusiastic about this at all, as you might imagine. And that for several reasons. One is that uh, he's a musician. And uh, he's much more at home sort of fighting enormous hangovers than uh, <laughs> other members of the public. And, and secondly, somebody told him that soldiers have got to go around and do stuff during the day. <clears throat> and of course, as I say, being a musician, he has no concept of how to function during daylight hours anyway. And if you add to that the fact that the young lady that uh, he was very, very fond of suddenly ups and tells him that she feels the same way just before he's supposed to leave. Typical. He can, yes. <laughs> you can see how he feels. And there's a bit of a chorus to it. How do you feel about that? Try a chorus. Hey, why not? Chorus goes, last night we spoke of love. Now we are forced to part. You leave to the sound of the marching drum and the beat of a lover's heart. Ah, oh, too tough for that, eh? <laughs> I kind of guessed that might be the case. However, you can always pretend. She was in the flowery garden When first she caught my eye And I just a marching soldier She smiled as I passed by The flowers she held were fresh and fair Her lips were full and red And as I passed the Shady bar, these words to me she said. Last night we spoke of love, now we're forced to part. You leave to the sound of the marching drum and the beat of a lover's heart. She was by the shore in the evening When next I saw my dear Running barefoot by the water's side She called as I drew near The sunlight glanced at the water's edge Making fire of a robber to her parting words that hung in the evening air. Last night we spoke of love, now we're forced to part. You leave to the sound of the marching drum and the beat of a lover's heart. She was on the strand the next morning When orders came to sail And as we slipped our ropes away I watched her from the rail She threw me a rose 
breeze which fell between us it floated on the bay and as our ship pulled from the shore i heard her call and say last night we spoke of love now sound of the marching drum and the beat of a lover's heart now the soldier's life won't suit me sweet music is my trade for i'd rather melt the hardest heart than pierce it with the blade let the time Short till I return to my home in the north of sky, and the loving girl who stole my heart with these words as I passed by. Last night we spoke of love. Now. And the beat of a lover's heart Last night we spoke of love Now we're forced to part You leave to the sound of the marching drum And the beat of a lover's heart Thanks very much indeed. Ach, well, you're not as tough as you thought. <laughs> I'm going to sing you a, maybe a different kind of a song. It's not really a love song as such. Maybe it is. I don't know. It's kind of it's like a lust song. <laughs> that was Johnny Cunningham there. You'll, uh, you'll hear a lot more of him before the night uh, is out, no doubt. The song we're going to sing you right now is uh, a song from, from the north of Ireland. And... It tells a story about how a young girl decides one day she's going to go out on a nice, well, one evening in fact, she's going to go out on a nice summer's evening, take a walk down beside the River Ban. And on the first time I heard this song, I thought to myself, now, if this woman has heard any of the other 500 songs that are all called The Banks of the Ban, and she's still going down there, <laughs> then she's out of her mind because there's always, you know, some young cad there, you know, sort of cutting around and there's always a, you know, a bit of misbehaviour, well, quite a lot of misbehaviour actually, and tears and recriminations and maybe a, a kid involved somewhere. You know. It's an age-old story, but distressing nonetheless. You know, that's how these songs always tend to go and I, I just couldn't help thinking, there's tons of space, you can go anywhere, you, you don't have to go down there. It's just not worth it. But she goes off down there anyway, and she falls in with this young, silver-tongued young devil, young sort of a daring young Celt. Based, this is all based loosely around, you know, the life of Johnny here. And, She's walking down the, the, the bank of the river and she, she falls in with this young cad and within, within seconds, within seconds, he tries to lead her astray. Mm -hmm. And to be fair to him, he meets with fabulous success.
Thank you, fellow cads. <laughs> he meets with great success there, but, you know, their happiness was kind of short-lived, really, because she starts into asking him probing and searching questions into his private life and affairs. Asking him things like, his name. <laughs> oh, you know, he, he backs off, as you would imagine, and nearly panics, you know. But he, he keeps enough of the head together anyway, just to come up with a bit of a story. He tells her that he's apprenticed as a weaver to the weaving trade, and as an apprentice, he, he couldn't afford to uh, support a wife, far less a wife, and maybe a family. Um, so he tells her that if he can go away, finish his apprenticeship, get his career together. He was a kind of an Irish Celtic, sort of early, sort of yuppie kind of character, this, you know. <laughs> he said if he could get his, his career together and he would come back and he would marry her and take great care of her and everything. You'll find that in a lot of songs too. It's called The Great Celtic Lie. <laughs> anyway, the whole thing finishes up with a, with a warning to young women. <coughs> I'm not quite sure specifically what the warning is against, but it seems to be a sort of general warning if you're a good-looking woman in Ireland just not to go outside. <laughs> That's as specific as it really gets. So here we go then. It's called Woolly Archer on the Banks of the Bad. As I was walking down by yon mill town, oh, the fair and lovely mountains they did me surround. I spied a pretty fair maid, and to me she looked grand. She was black and wild roses on the banks of the ban. So I stepped up to the spare one, and to her I did say, since nature has formed us far to meet on this day Since nature has formed us, won't you give me your hand And we'll walk together on the banks of the band Now it be in the summer's evening and a fine quiet place I knew by the blushes that appeared on her face we both lay down together onto a bed of sand And she rolled into my arms on the banks of the band Man, you have wronged me, won't you tell me your name? So that when my babe is born, I can give it the same. My name is Willie Archer, and I'll have you understand that my home and habitation lies close to the pan. But I cannot marry you, for apprentice time bound. To the spinning and the weaving in Rathraven town Oh, but when my time is over, I'll give you my hand We will be buried on the banks of the band So come all, you pretty fair maids, take a warning by me Don't go out of court and not one to or three don't go out to court and so late if you can Or you'll meet with Willie Archer on the banks of the band
Thanks very much. We'll go on with um, some more tunes. Oh, great. <laughs> the, the first two uh, are tunes that I, I wrote myself a couple of years ago. And uh, the first one is called Simon Mackenzie's Welcome to His Twin Sisters from Canada. <laughs> Have you seen his sisters or what? <laughs> and then there's a tune called Farewell to the Heb. The Heb is short for Hebrides, and that was the name of the, the ferry that used to take people from the Isle of Skye over to the outer Hebrides, uh, Lewis and Harris. And a few years ago, they got rid of the old ferry, which had a lot of um, character to it, and they replaced it with a plastic one. <laughs> and, uh, everyone was very upset about it. And as it was very topical at the time, I thought, well, I'll write um, a tune called Farewell to the Heb, and everyone will be so nostalgic that they'll buy a copy of this tune and I'll make a fortune <laughs> because I don't I don't write tunes for the love of it anymore it's purely for the money <laughs> out of money but you know that's uh, that's that's a special kind of honesty too isn't it really <laughs> oh, yeah. it's valid yeah anyway it didn't work because they called the new ferry the Heb as well <laughs> <laughs> so it's a farewell to nothing uh, farewell to the royalties yeah, farewell to the royalties, the tune chief. <laughs> then there's a traditional uh, pipe reel called the Ayla's Deer. I really hope you enjoy these. <laughs> 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 I'd just like to say um, these are my favourite tunes you've ever written, Phil, and uh, I'm really looking forward to hearing you play them live. I'm going to play them just for you, Johnny. Thank you. Just
I'd like to sing you a, a, a traditional song now from, from Scotland, and um, quite an old song this, quite an unusual one too, because it's kind of, it's a very sad kind of a song really, on the face of it. It's a song called Land of the Leal. The word Leal uh, is spelt in Old Scots L-E-A-L, and uh, it means something that's uh, trustworthy or true or good all the way through. Kind of like Shamu the Killer Whale. No. <laughs> Is that in, it's in Florida or something? Johnny's been to Florida and sometimes you get little bits of information from them, but they're totally unconnected with anything else that's happening, so you've got to really try and piece it all together yourself. You know what I mean? No, I, it's, it's a whale. It's a gigantic whale with its own theme song. <laughs> and people swim about with it and it doesn't tear the face off them or anything. It's, a, it's a, a really brilliant thing. So you say this whale was actually a leal? It was a leal whale. <laughs> Shamu is a leal whale. And it has its own... It has its own show. It's actually in better nick than we are. It has a, <laughs> it has a, it has a regular show there until its death. Well, there you have it, ladies and gentlemen, the career of Shamu, the killer whale. Never mind, Johnny. One day you'll have your own theme song, I'm sure, as well. <laughs> your own sort of land, you know, that you can... A cholesterol world. <laughs> <laughs> you see, Scotland's one of the very few places left that cigarettes and fried breakfasts are still good for you. It's a very hard place to leave, you know what I mean? <coughs> anyway, we'll try and get by, but thanks for telling us about Shamu, the killer whale. <laughs> See, to let you understand a wee bit more about Johnny is, um, the only way I can really sort of describe him is, do you know when, have you ever been on the phone or something and you've got your feet up on your desk in front of you and you're rocking back and forward on a chair and you're, you're kind of engrossed in what you're saying or something and you don't notice that you've just moved that little bit too far back and you know that horrifying instant when you don't know if you're going to plunge backwards to your death or if you're going to land back on the desk and be able to continue the conversation okay without the person on the other end thinking that you're a maniac? <laughs> you know that horrifying instant where your life's just... Ooh. That's how Johnny feels all the time. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, we'll press on with this song and see what happens. <coughs> okay. The song is actually about, uh, it's about a man who knows he's not long for this world and he's saying his final farewell to his wife, Jean. And he's saying that although it's a very sad thing to part in that way at the end of a life, uh, that it's only a temporary parting, that they'll meet again in the land of the Leal, which is heaven. So here we go.
to the land of the Lord. Our bonny barons there, Jean, she was both good and fair, Jean, and oh, we grudged ourselves. So dry that tearful aging, my soul longs to be fledging, and angels wait on me. There's neither called 
I'd like to sing you a song from uh, Perthshire in the Central Highlands of Scotland, and uh, that's where uh, myself and uh, <laughs> Martin comes from. And uh, coincidentally, it's also the nicest uh, part of Scotland as well. That's a <laughs> pure coincidence, of course. But this is a song about a wee place called Dunkeld. And a few folk in from Dunkeld tonight. Just a couple of bus rides down to Atlanta, Georgia. You're all right. <laughs> well, the thing is that it's a, the song itself is in, uh, a lot of it's in Old Scots, and uh, so I'll kind of explain a little bit of the, the story for you so that you get the gist of what's happening if you don't know the, the song already. It's, it's about what happened when, well, it's a couple of hundred years ago, like, but it's about <laughs> what happened when the town got a new minister. Now, the old one was, you know, fine. He ratted and raved on the Sunday and pretty well turned a blind eye the rest of the week, so you could get on with stuff. <laughs> but this new fellow they got in, he was really fired up with zeal, and he was, you know, he had all kinds of commitment he was going to make. And on the first Sunday, he told them that things were to change in the town, and that from that day on, there was to be no more making or consuming of alcoholic drinks, no more organizing kaylees or parties or dances or any kind of thing at all like that. <laughs> the room's deflating. What's happening? <laughs> well, his audience reacted very much the same way, only perhaps a wee bit more vocally. But they, they weren't very pleased. But out of, out of respect for the minister, they decided they would give it a shot anyway. And they tried this no drinking, you know, no enjoying themselves thing. And, I mean, that town had been through fire and flood and pestilence and war and... History records, though, that that period of time that they spent under that minister was the longest 24 hours they'd ever experienced. <laughs> so they formed a bit of a committee to go up and represent the town and have a chat with them, just to discuss things, you know, just very... Uh, It's Miller time. I love this job. Some folk will do anything to get into a video. I just don't need a TV, eh? That's yeah. terrible, eh? Um, so where was it anyway? They'd formed a bit of a committee to go and have a chat with them. Go up and represent their views in a quiet... After this life, Johnny's hoping to come back as a human being. <laughs> Shamu! <laughs> <laughs> anyway, they went up and had a word with the minister and they said to him, can we have a bit of a Kaylee on Saturday night? We just want to have a few dances, a few drams, and we'll be in church Sunday morning. And the minister, the minister, <laughs> Sunday morning. <laughs> I've no idea what's wrong with that woman. <laughs> anyway, the minister, the minister, he said no. Can, can we possibly get a camera over here? Anyway? <laughs> the minister, he said, no. Cheer up, for God's sake. Uh, so, they took him out, 
And they hung him. <laughs> and that's his wife up there. <laughs> What a parish, a terrible parish. Oh, what a parish is that of Dunkeld. They hang at their minister, drew their presenter, done doon the steeple and fuddled the bell. The steeple was doon, but the kirk was still standing. They beg it along where the bell used to hang. I still thought they got, and they brewed Highland whiskey on Sundays. They drank it and ranted and sang. <laughs> Had you but seen how graceful they look it To see the cramped pew so socially join MacDonald the piper stood up in the pulpit He made the pipes girl out the music divine Way whiskey and beer that would curse and they'd swear That argue and fight like your dad now he'll tell About Geordie and Charlie they bothered for early Way whiskey they're worse than the devil himself Cheering spirits had mounted their garrets to a ball on the green. They had a adjourn. The maids with coats kilted, they skipped it and lilted. When tired, they shook hands and then hanged and return. If the Kirk saw her Scotland held like social meetings, nay, warning you'd need from a far tinkling bell. For true love and friendship would draw you together far better than roaring the horrors of hell. What a parish, a terrible parish. Oh, what a parish is that of Dunkeld. They hang at their minister, shot their accordionist. <laughs> Dunged in the steeple and fuddled the bell. Yes. The steeple was down, but the kirk was still standing. They pick it along where the bell used to hang. I still thought they got and they brewed heel and whiskey on Sunday they drank it and ran them and sang.
That song always reminds me on something that I saw written on a toilet wall <laughs> in a bar in Edinburgh. I don't usually go into these places, but you know, I was I was shopping or something, and uh, for my granny, and I just had to I was I just had to go in there quickly, and you know, it was a, a pub at the edge of where you know, just away from where most of the tourists might actually go, you know, just at the edge of where you might stray, and it just said. I just noticed up on the wall in really shaky handwriting it had written, Scotland is not for the squeamish. <laughs> <coughs> Who knows what drove that poor individual to write that? <laughs> anyway, we've, we, we've adopted it as our slogan for this tour anyway. <coughs> Do you fancy singing a chorus with us here? Yeah. Good, that's grand. This is a, a song that I wrote a wee while back for my wife, and uh, it's got a very easy chorus. Chorus uh, goes, golden, golden is her hair, like the morning sun over fields of corn. Golden, golden flows her love, so sweet and clear and warm. It's a love song. <laughs> but I'm really tough as well, honestly. Slowly, slowly walk the path And you might never stumble or fall Slowly, slowly walk the path And you might never fall in love at all Golden, golden as her hair Like the morning sun Over fields of corn Golden, golden flows her love So sweet and clear and Of love like a mountain stream, and wildly, wildly play your part as free as a wild bird's dream. Golden, golden as our like the morning sun over fields of corn Golden, golden flows her love 
so sweet and clear and Thanks a million for singing with us there, that's grand. Well, um, <clears throat> we're going to do a kind of a song now for you that's uh, a wee bit different. It's a song for folk who like to party and have a good time. No, I, don't, I don't mean like that. I mean folk who basically need to party sort of professionally. No? Okay, folk who party then with no regard to their own personal safety or well-being. Okay. This is one of my favourites of yours, Andy. Thanks, Johnny. Oh, there's sober men in plenty And drunkards barely twenty There are men of over ninety That have never yet kissed a girl But give me a rambling rover Pay Orkney down to Dover We will roam the country over And together we'll face the world There's many that feign enjoyment From merciless employment Their ambition was this deployment From the minute they left the school And they save and scrape and ponder While the rest go out and squander See the world and rove and wander And they're happier as a rule Ah, there's sober men in plenty and drunkards barely twenty There are men of over ninety That have never yet kissed a girl But give me a rambling rover Hey Orkney down to Dover We will roam the country over And together we'll face the world I've roamed through all the nations to delight in all creation And I've tried away sensation Where the company did prove kind 
And when parting was no pleasure, I've drunk another measure to the good friends we treasure, for they always are in our mind. Oh, there's sober men in plenty, and drunk as barely twenty. There are men of over ninety that have never yet kissed a girl. But give me a rambling rover, pay art me down to Dover. We will roam the country over, and together we'll face the world. If you're bent with arthritis, your bowels have got colitis. You've galloping ballicitis and you're thinking it's time you died. If you've been a man of action, though you're lying there in traction, you may gain some satisfaction thinking Jesus at least I tried. Ah, oh, there's sober men in plenty, and drunk as barely twenty. There are men of over ninety that have never yet kissed a girl. But give me a rambling rover, pay art me down to Dover. We will roam the country over, and together we'll face the world. There's sober men in plenty, and drunk as barely twenty. There are men of over ninety that have never yet kissed a girl. But give me a rambling rover, pay art me down to Dover. We will roam the country over, and together we'll face the world. That's the kind of song that Scottish people sing when they're having a really great time. <laughs> if you've ever seen Scotland at Hogmanay, you know, at New Year, it's not a good Hogmanay unless everybody's got the hankies out and they're just roaring, oh, you know. It just wouldn't work unless, really. But right now we're going to have a, a duet from, well, at least, at least two of the band, as far as I can see. <laughs> we're going to have a duet from John and Phil Cunningham. God made the Cunninghams on the same day that he made the platypus. <laughs> totally unique. Good lads. God made, uh, God made Andy on the same day he made Bob Eubanks. <laughs> <laughs> um, well, we're going to do a, a few uh, Irish tunes and a few Scottish tunes. The, the first tune's called Paddy Faye's number one. The second tune's called The Nine Points of Roguery. The third tune's a tune that, uh, it's an Irish traditional tune, but the Beatles actually stole it uh, and used it to write, listen, do you want to know a secret? So when we play that, you'll actually know it's quite obvious uh, that they just lifted the tune straight up and made a fortune out of it. <laughs> and uh, then a tune called, um, it's a half Irish, half Scottish and half Jewish tune called The, the Kosher Reel. Uh, then a tune called The Laird of Drum Blair, then The Laird of Drum Blair in A. Now that'll sound really fast, but it won't really be fast. That's just because A is the fastest of all keys. <laughs> and then a tune in, in F called Jeans Reel, which will in fact be faster, but won't sound as fast. <laughs> and then a tune called The Musical Priest. Let me check this out here.
nothing. When they play really fast, only dogs can hear them. <laughs> Donald come up the hell hard and hungry. Donald's come down the hell wild and angry. Donald will clear the gout's nest cleverly. He's taking James into Donald McGillivray. Come like a white buck. Donald McGillivray, come like a white buck. Donald McGillivray, balance some fair and balance some cleverly off with a counterfeit. Donald McGillivray, Donald, come out of hell, but he's the other man. As he was my first on way, another man. When he comes back, the sun will look merrily. He's the King James and to Donald McGillivray, come like a weaver. Donald McGillivray, come like a weaver. Donald McGillivray, push your foot in and then flamble them cleverly. Half way, King James, and we die. Donald McGillivray, Donald is fucking way, rife and roguery. Donald has done it way, bangs and baggery, but not a war, wanks and waggery. Meet him the devil, then Donald McGillivray, come like a tailor, Donald McGillivray, come like a tailor, Donald McGillivray. We should put them in the November, the double A, up waking James with Donald McGillivray.
Galant at Brooks, nay, tang up the swagin, and pregnant and on you fang up the stay, man be gain. He when he be pocket man, he will hate just the sort that he'll tack it, man. Come like a cobbler, Donald McGillapre, come like a cobbler, Donald McGillapre, beat them and bother them, and linger them cleverly up waking James with Donald McGillapre. Donald was muffin way, murds and mockery, Donald was blended way, bloods of property. Barrels run high, when Mackins were made, then when Lord Howard Donald, he's fighting the Fratman. Come like the devil, Donald McGillivray. Come like the devil, Donald McGillivray. Scout them and scout them, the brave say unbrotherly. Up boy King James and with Donald McGillivray. <laughs> Good night, thank you. Thanks for watching. Thank you. There's, there's nowhere to go back there. <laughs> Thanks a million, anyway. You've been a marvellous, marvellous audience. Thanks a lot. And uh, it's very important to support music, you know, live music, because I always think without music, dancing looks really stupid. <laughs> a homespun philosophy, I know, but... It's my own, you know. We're going to sing you a, a bit of a, a ballad now, just to finish off quieting things down a bit. And uh, it's a song about a young man who decides to go off and seek his fortune so that he'd have enough money to come home and marry his young lady that he's very keen on. Because you'll find that the heroes in almost all Celtic songs are broke, totally. <laughs> so they've got to go and seek their fortune because that's the way you did it in the olden days. You know, you, it was a s simple system, that was just how you did it. Well, off he went, and he was away for a long time, but he left his lady far too long. And when he came back, she had made her mind up that she was going to go and have a look at a bit of the world. So he just gets back in time to see her get on a ship and sail away and leave him. He was very sad. The song's called, uh, If I Was a Blackbird. Uh, Gary, could you put a spot of uh, reverb on the whistle, please? This That's an old Scottish blessing. I don't know what it means myself. <laughs> Thanks a million anyway. And uh, there's a chorus to this, and it'd be lovely if you, if you sang along, and then we'd all be singing at the end of the night. Thanks very much indeed. I am a young sailor, my story is sad Though once I was carefree and a brave sailor lad 
I courted a lassie by night and by day. Oh, but now she has left me and sailed far away. Oh, if I was a blackbird, could whistle and sing, I follow the vessel my true love sails in, and in the top again. I would there build my nest, and I'd flutter my wings o'er oh, her lily white breast. Or if I was a scholar and could handle the pen, one secret love letter to my true love I'd send. And tell of my sorrow, my grief and my pain Since she's gone and left me in yon fleury glen Oh, if I was a blackbird, could whistle and sing I'd follow the vessel my true love sails in And in the top again I would there build my nest And I'd flutter my wings O'er oh, her lily white breast I sailed o'er the ocean by fortune to seek Though I missed her caress And her kiss on my cheek I returned and I told her My love was still warm But she turned away lightly And great was her scorn Oh, if I was a blackbird could whistle and sing I follow the vessel My true love sails in And in the top again I would there build my nest And I'd flutter my wings O'er her lily white breast I offer to take her to Donnybrook Fair And to buy her fine ribbons to tie up her hair I offer her to marry and to stay by her side But she says in the morning she sails with the tide Oh, if I was a blackbird Who'd whistle and sing I'd follow the vessel My true love sails in And in the top again I would there build my nest and I flutter my wings for her lily white breast. My parents, they chide me, they will not agree. Send that me and my false love marriage should never be. Oh, but let them. 
deprive me or let them do what they will while there's breath in my body she's the one that i love still oh if i was a blackbird could whistle and sing i'd follow the vessel my true love sails in and in the top again i would there build my nest and i'd flutter my wings oh her lily white breath Thank you. Good Thanks a million. Thank you. Do you not do you not get many groups in this town then? <laughs> Thanks a million folks. This is great. And uh Well said, Bubbles. <laughs> well, we're just going to have to do the first one again, I think. That's all we know, isn't it? <laughs> Thanks a million. I don't know when we'll all see you again, but uh, thank you all. Yeah. Thank you all. <laughs> Thank you. 
God bless and see you again. Cheers.